This episode of The Low Side brought to you by Full Throttle Energy Drink. Hey, I'm Morgan Gales. We are right off Main Street in Sturgis, South Dakota for the 79th annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. It's the biggest rally in the States, brings in hundreds of thousands of people every year. And uh, we're here to talk to some of the people that are trying to breathe new life into the event. Bring in a younger audience, bring in more female riders. So we're just checking it out, riding bikes, seeing what it is about Sturgis that makes it the ideal place for everyone to experience motorcycle culture in America. The vibe in the city of Sturgis has changed a lot over the years, but it seems to appeal to the same sort of riders. Skulls, sparkles, and flames line the booths of the streets. But outside of town, there is someone doing something a little bit different. We're at the Sturgis Buffalo Chip. It's a 600 acre property that's sort of the home outside of town for the Sturgis Rally. It was started in 1982 by Rod Woodruff. So we're gonna go track him down and see if we can keep up. So the so, Chip started in 82? Yeah, our first event was 82. So we've had one annual event since 1982. It's been our 38th annual event. It just doesn't get any better than this. All these people show up, everybody's happy, everybody's looking forward to a good time and, uh, you know, ready to hang loose and, and uh, you know, share a little bit of uh, joy. How big is the plot? Uh, 600 acres. So yeah, it's a couple miles long, actually. new stuff. What's the goal there? I mean, obviously bringing in a new crowd. It's just everybody wants to have fun and that includes younger people, yeah. right? Yeah. So we got the hill climb and uh, the racetrack, the uh, MX motocross races, the off-road racing uh, stuff for the stuff for the gambler, you know, 500 folks and for the mini uh, 100. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we had, then out there we had stuff for the supermoto races, so we pretty well got it uh, Covered, I think. I mean, yeah, but that's it. It's Thank you, sir. Just by doing new things, by expanding into yeah. different genres, you do bring in different people, and yeah. it is more fun and it's exciting. Yeah. All right. All right. Kerry Hart's a freestyle motocross legend that started the good ride to benefit veterans. Now he's sort of crossed over into the custom and V-twin world, so it's natural to find him here at Sturgis. We're gonna go ride with him and see what keeps him coming back here to the rally. Tell me a little bit about what the good ride is. What do you guys do? Well, long story short, this was a bit of a passion project me and Big V started four years ago. You know, I've always wanted to get into the charitable side of things. I used to support a lot of charities through my motocross career, and I always wanted to do something for myself. And so we came up with the idea of Good Ride. Like I said, we're at these rallies so much, and we figured we can selfishly give up one day of our lives to go raise some money for veterans. And how many people do we have out here? Uh, the official head count was 130 bikes and about 160 people with passengers. So. Yeah, we've been cranking each year we get bigger and bigger and just trying to raise some money and have fun while doing it. So where, uh, where do you see Sturgis going in the, next, in the next decade? I mean, I think the bigger part is just really getting the younger contingent out there. I mean, I, I think it's exciting to see the growth in the, the women's market. Um, there is growth in the, you know, call it the under, under 40, under 50. 
And it's just really just starting to diversify a little bit and, and doing some things to kind of bring that younger crowd. So I think they're making some of the some good decisions and some good moves. You know, with the bringing bringing back a lot of the racing and that kind of aspect to it, yeah. bike shows. So I think that if they just stay on course, they'll do it. You know, I, I've, I've been to a lot of the smaller rallies and they're pretty exciting to go to. And I think that if uh, the bigger rallies can adapt to that, then there'll be another 79 years ago. So we got a little weather today, lightning, some thunder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm staring at those clouds, seeing if we can get in front of it. <laughs> All sorts of races take place over the week or so of the Sturgis Rally, but the spirit of Sturgis highlights vintage bikes ranging all the way back to the early 1900s. These racers go just as hard as the ones on modern bikes, and it's a hell of a time to watch. We're here inside Michael Lichter's Motorcycles as Art Show. Michael's a photographer that's been covering motorcycle culture for more than four decades, specifically the Sturgis Rally, having published two books on the subject. When it comes to what the show is, what it was, and what it's becoming, there's really not a lot of people that can speak on that like Michael. So we're here to sit down with him and gain some of his unique perspective. So how many years have you been coming to Sturgis? This is my 39th year. Yeah, that is amazing. So how have you seen the rally change over the last 39 years? In every way. But you know, I really feel like my 40 years of photographing bikers is the history of America as well. I really love history, I love the stories, storytelling, that's a lot about what photography is about. Absolutely. So where would you like to see the rally as a whole in another 39 years? To me, it's these young guys. I think for too many years, the industry chased the same people. Yeah. Every magazine. It's like, they had a demographic. And they said, this is our demographic. Who are they? They do studies and all this. It's like, this is who they are. Right. So now we're going to do things just for them. And then what happens is, those people get older and older and older. And the magazine gets older and older and older. And wait and a sec, all of a sudden, we never found a new audience. It's not fresh. Yeah. Respect what's there. Respect history. Respect the stories, respect the people that have been around. They have a lot to give you, yeah. a lot to learn from. Mm -hmm. But they should also hear what the other people say. Michael, thank you so much for having us. This Morgan. show is one of the highlights every year. Morgan, Always thank you for coming coming every year. Thank, thank you. you. That's a wrap on this episode of The Low Side and our trip to the 79th Sturgis Rally. It was an amazing show. I'm sure it's changed and grown over the last eight decades and it's gonna to continue to change and grow a lot more over the next eight. If you uh, like the videos, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, follow along for the next one.